for the purposes of this examination, you only need to know, well, just a little bit about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And so the simplified version of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle looks something like this. So what, it, it's, what it's essentially trying to say is that you cannot simultaneously be sure of a particle's position and its momentum at the same time. And so the uncertainty in the particle's position delta x multiplied by the uncertainty in the particle's momentum must be greater than h. And so, of course, you see, if one of these things go to zero, then that doesn't make sense. And so, basically, it's saying that there's always going to be some, or going to be some uncertainty in a particle's position and its momentum. So, what exactly is this, right? So, for example, I could say that I have a laser beam, like so. And I could say, for example, that an electron could be somewhere inside this laser beam but you're just not sure where. In which case, the entire length of this laser beam would then be the positional uncertainty of this particular electron. And then, of course, you can find the uncertainty is momentum simply by taking Planck's constant divided by delta x. Oh, sorry, actually, what this will be is that you will get a minimum uncertainty in its momentum. It could be more. So just a few things to take note of. Right, that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is direction specific, meaning that if the uncertainty is in a particular x direction, sorry, if the uncertainty in the position is in a particular x direction, then that only allows you to make some conclusions about the uncertainty in the x momentum. And so, of course, it follows that the rest of this is true as well. Direction specific. And lastly, for the purposes, again, of this exam, delta P usually is M delta V, implying that the uncertainty in the momentum comes about from the uncertainty in the velocity and not the mass of the particle.